course, like everybody else, it was extremely challenging. Uh, first, we were locked down, so we had to close the studio completely for several months. And uh, of course, at first, you think it's going to be there for two or three weeks, so you don't take it too seriously. Then you do realize after two weeks that it's there to stay for a long time, and then you have to start doing something. You have to be proactive with what you have. And at a certain point, we decided to do, we need to reconnect with our students to show them that we're still there and we'll be there when everything is kind of normal or better. You know, it's hard to say what it is. First, we used it for group lessons. Then slowly, we start doing it for private lessons as well, which, of course, that's a bit of a challenge if you're not used to it. So I was a bit familiar with how you teach on Zoom because it's quite different. And uh, so we slowly started to do it for our own students. And um, we invited them for free at first, you know, to give them a chance to see what it is. But now we're fortunate enough, we are reopened, again, as a very slow progression. And uh, we're, you know, making sure we wear masks, maintaining social distancing, and uh, slowly people are coming back and um, we're here and we're here to stay. So we try to be very creative, for example, using like uh, sticks to maintain the distance, but learning to move with them, basically things that sometimes we've used as instructors in the past but now it, they're becoming more important. So the idea is to be creative with what you have to do basically. Like anything else, the more you try to make it happen, the ideas come to you and then things start happening basically. Now, of course, if we have couples that come from the same household, they can dance together, that's not a problem. But for the instructor with the student, we have to maintain social distancing for now. We cannot have large groups of people even less dancing at the same time altogether will be way too much. So we have to go with what's right at this point. So we hope that in the new year, things will get better and then we'll be able to restart everything. So hopefully the classic will be happening in February. Fingers crossed, you see. But again, we have to go with the, you know, with the temperature of the, the, the feeling of what's happening and the, what the government is allowing us to do. We can go against the rules, of course. In dancing, you want to be able to use your foot properly, using your ankle, feeling the floor, so the movement becomes easier. So having the right shoe is very, very important. Having a shoe that is flexible, like this shoe here, okay, for your company, actually, I think it's important because that's what gives you the flexibility and make, it, make things much easier. If the shoe is too hard, too stiff, all that becomes more difficult. So you make the learning process uh, more challenging and it could be easier with the right shoe. Keep on dancing. <laughs> Go back to your studios. You see, I'm sure everybody, like every studio owner, wants to bring the people back in their studio. We want you to dance and we want to keep you know, we want to still be in business for everyone, basically. So go back to your studios and each studio that are reopened will maintain the protocol and they can surely follow all the steps. So call them, connect with them and feel secure because eventually all of that will be part of the past. You see, like anything else in life, basically. So let's not wait any longer. You have to keep progressing into your dancing. Back to dancing at this point. That's the way I look at it.